Hi, I am Chloe Wyatt Taylor, media correspondent with the fabulous Westlake Pro, and we have the great pleasure of being here with Mr. Ed Cherney. Hi, Ed. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to be here at the Pensados Place Awards Night. Um, it's very exciting. So I'll, I'll tell you a story about Westlake. Now, Westlake Studios, um, Bruce Wadeen, who was uh, one of my best friends and mentors, um, started out, I, I, the first job, the day after I moved to Los Angeles from Chicago, the first place I went to, I went through the billboard directory of studios backwards at the end, and Westlake was the first one I saw. And I went and knocked on the door at 8447 Beverly to beg them for a job. And I went in and I got a job. And they hired me and I was supposed to start the next day as a staff engineer. And one of my first gigs was working for Bruce Wadeen and Quincy Jones, and they were doing Michael Jackson's Off the Wall record there. And I ended up working for them as their assistant engineer for about six years. And I worked on, you know, all the Michael Jackson records and Quincy the Dude and Patty Austin and, and um, Lena Horne and Rufus and Chaka and the Brothers Johnson. So it's wild. So my heart is with Westlake. You know, I go along back with Westlake, and I help build the other rooms and on and um, I helped build the rooms on Santa Monica Boulevard, mm -hmm. and I spent a lot of time there. And then it turned into Westlake Pro. Now, the thing about Westlake was they were always gear dealers and built studios. So all the studios were always stocked with all the most advanced gear of the time. Mm -hmm. So there was piles and piles of gear. And when I was learning how to be a recording engineer, I used to think that you had to use all the gear in order to make a record. So, you know, I'd be working really hard and plugging in all the newest gear and my records really didn't sound that great. So someone just mentioned, maybe, you know, pull that off of there. So I started pulling the gear off of there and I learned the hard way that you don't have to use all the gear to make a record. That <laughs> so the <laughs> lesson the here. There's time and place for everything. And sometimes less is more. Less is more, more or less, <laughs> most of the time, absolutely. And so, what's one of your favorite things about being here at the Pensado Awards? Well, I get to see all my friends. But, you know, the way we work now a lot is we all have our own studios. So it's very rare that, you know, it used to be you were in a multi-room facility. Like Westlake, there were five rooms, six rooms, or Record Plant, or A&M, mm -hmm. um, or Capital. And you would see all your friends that were working in all the other rooms. So you would talk to each other, you would share tips and ideas. But the way we work now is many of us have our own studios. And... Mm -hmm. We're alone a lot of the time, so you don't have a chance to see all your peers and all the people that you started out with. So I walk around here and I see friends and people that I have relationships with for, for 40 years that I don't, you know, don't normally see. So it's, it's really great. Oh, that's lovely. And, and I get to honor, I'm going to um, introduce Bruce Wadeen, who's getting um, an Icon Award this evening. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm excited to see him and to be able to honor him, and he's really deserving of it. And just keep it all in the family and keep commune. The family. This, this, is a, this is one big family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the contraction of the music business, the family is not, has gotten smaller in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And it's harder to make a living doing, especially producing records and recording and mixing records. It's just, it's just harder. There isn't as much money in it as there used to be. But everyone that's left does it for the love of it. And not, you know, you mm -hmm. can make a living. But everyone that's doing it and continues to do it does it for the love of it. And, you know, they're just compelled to do this, to make music. And kindred, kindred spirits, that's who I'm with. You know, all the people that, you know, were cut from the same cloth. And I love being in a place with all my peers and all the people that share this kind of the same values, you know, in their lives. And, and work for the love of music and, you know, and the love of making music and the love of people that make music. Mm -hmm. So then last question, yes. if you could say thank you to anyone, any group, any one person, any event, who would or what would that be? Well, you know, I would really have to thank Herb and Dave, you know, because they would really want me to thank them for putting this affair on. So Herb and Dave, thank you very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. This is the fantastic Ed Cherney. I hope Herb and Dave see that, too. <laughs> oh, they, they will. will. Good. They will. Good. It's nice being here with you. Nice being here in front of the Westlake logo, too. Okay. Well, you. thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. I'm Chloe Wyatt Taylor. And you're going to. Peace out.